time is of the essence, it ain't always on our side. So we gon' live it up because you only get one life. I believe it's only one or two places, but when you die, when you visit, you gon' stay. So you gotta live it right. Christian Fulton, there are so many things that I wanna talk to you about. I'm so excited to have the chance to sit down with you. But I don't wanna start with football. I wanna start off the field. And I wanna start at your store, The Trenches. Why did you pick the name The Trenches for a clothing store? We wanted it to be something that everybody, you know, could relate to. You know, uh, it's a lot of people that's from there and that's kind of the environment, you know, that we kind of grew up in. And just the uh, store location where it's at, it kind of reminded us of home where I'm from New Orleans. That's kind of how we came up with the name. And, you know, it's kind of like the trenches, Titans teeth. So it kind of had a catchy thing to it. So you put it in North Nashville. That's where you decided. What was it about that location? You said it reminds you of home. What about that really struck you? Well, black owned area. You know, they have a couple restaurants over there that's black owned and they have a couple lounges that's over there that's black owned. It's kind of a black owned street. We thought that would be a perfect spot, you know, to where it could be a one stop shop for everybody that came visit. Victory is all we ever wanted. A little history is all I ever needed. I probably never would have acted how I acted in the past if the future would have ever let me see it. So describe it a little bit, because it's more than just clothes. There's more to the trenches. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we sell uh, streetwear clothes, we sell uh, art, and we sell shoes. We also have a design lab in the back. We'll have TSU uh, interns, that, those who are graduating, we'll have interns come in and they can work in the back, you know, just to get some experience and just learn how to design and uh, working with people in the retail area, you know. So why so many things? I mean, it's pretty easy to just open a clothing store this is so much more than that. Uh, like, like I said, you know, just wanted to uh, give every, everybody else an opportunity. You know, a lot of people don't have the opportunity growing up. People kind of fall into the uh, high-end luxury brands of uh, clothing stores. So we wanted to give those unknown brands, you know, those uh, black-owned people brands, you know, an opportunity, you know, to broadcast their talents. Now you're doing this with your brother. Do you always want to go in business with your brother? Sometimes they say, Working with family is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, we, had, we never grew up thinking that, you know, that we wanted to go into business. You know, we kind of uh, stuck to sports. Now, you guys did play together, though, right? So you can work together. You can bond, right? Did having that experience playing together take out some of the brotherness that could kind of happen in a business? Yeah, 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 definitely. On the field, you know, once you're playing with each other, you got to push each other on the field. That's kind of my job, you know, to uh, make sure that he stays on top of his part, you know, in the business side, and he kind of pushes me on the football side. You know, I, he let, I let him handle the business side, and he kind of pushes me on the football side. Now you're in year two. There's a lot of expectations on you, and there's a lot of conversation about what you could be for this Tennessee Titans team. Do you thrive under that pressure, or do you try and stay away from it a little bit? I mean, I try to stay away from it, you know, at the end of the day, football is football for me. So I don't kind of, I don't really go off the expectations everybody else has for me. I go off my expectations and that's just what puts me every day. There are other younger guys on this team. Caleb Farley was also drafted and has some expectations based on his college play a lot, like what happened for you. How do you help guide someone else, a younger guy, through that same scenario? Just try to give him pointers, you know, what, where I lack that and where I don't want him to lack at, you know, because like I said, the expectations are high, they're going to expect him to come in. So, I mean, I just try to go off my experience and go off the experience that the older guys from last year gave me, you know, it's always good to uh, pass it down to the younger guys.